Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over how to bridge onto the Polygon network using Coop, uh, using Coinbase and KuCoin and MetaMask. Okay, which if you're not using MetaMask, it's fine. You can use any other uh, any other crypto wallet if you want, as long as it supports the Polygon network, which I'm pretty sure most of them do. Uh, so, anyways, let's go ahead and jump into this. I'm going to be using the uh, mobile for this. If you want to see the desktop version. I'll have that in the description. So anyways, here we are. We're in Coinbase. Uh, you can see it's 7.41 in the morning. <laughs> so my voice might be a little groggy here. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump in here. Um, so what we're gonna, what we'll have to do is we're gonna have to send a crypto to KuCoin in order to do this process. If you already have a KuCoin and already have money there, uh, then that's gonna make things way easier. Uh, but anyways, when you send crypto, there's always uh, there are fees along with it. Different cryptos have different transaction fees. Um, on the Ethereum blockchain, it's ex it's very expensive. So what I'd recommend is not using what we what's called an ERC twenty token, which is ETH based. You're going to want to use something else. Now they do have Ma Matic on Coinbase, okay, but it's only ETH based Matic. Very important to understand the difference. Uh, so, if we send Matic out and withdraw it, it's going to cost quite a bit of money and it's going to be on the wrong chain so that won't work if you're trying to get on the Polygon network. So what we want to do here is I've purchased Litecoin for this example. It's uh, very, very cheap to send out and uh, it's also very quick. So anyways, we're going to go ahead, uh, Litecoin's right here. You can also uh, search for it if it's not on this bar for you. So we're going to go ahead and click on Litecoin and we're going to scroll down as it shows I have a balance of $49 here. Um, also, if you don't have Litecoin or you want to use Litecoin, just go ahead and purchase it for this transaction. Uh, so Litecoin. And now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to hit this, uh, this send button right here. And then it's going to want you to put the money. We're going to just say $25. And from here, it has some addresses that I've already sent it to, it appears. So we don't want those addresses. Uh, but if you don't know about transactions, um, if you don't know about transactions on a blockchain, use a, a public addresses to send them to. And just kind of like a, an address for your house. Like you can go out there, you can see the road, you can see your address, but you know, uh, what it, that's why it's called a public address. Anybody can see it. So anyways, we're going to need to go get the address for KuCoin in order to do that. So we're going to hop out of here. Let's search for KuCoin and allow KuCoin to access. No, we don't want to do that. So from here, once you create a KuCoin, if you don't have a KuCoin account, go ahead and create one. I've added a referral link in the, in the description, which will give you a bonus. And it'll also give me a bonus uh, for doing so. So we'll go ahead and click on, uh, or not click, but we're going to tap on asset and it's going to show us our assets in here, which are already have Matic, uh, but we're going to finish this process. So next step, since we're sending Litecoin, we're going to want to click on Litecoin to get that address. Click on Litecoin here. And then down here, we're going to hit deposit because we're depositing Litecoin here. The address ends in 7DKS and starts with MQZA. So we're going to want to go ahead and copy that. Uh, hit, sorry, you got to hit the copy address. There we go. We've copied it. Now we're going to want to go to Coinbase and we're going to want to paste it. All right. So now that we've done that, we're going to hit preview send. And if you look, the fee is 0 0.00000042. So it's uh not a whole lot of money <laughs> to send this. It's very cheap. Now we're going to send now. It's going to want to have an authenticator code. Let me go ahead and move this just for a second while I put that in. All right. Now that I've sent that in there, it's, uh, it's processed, it's sent successfully. Now we're finished. So the money, Coinbase normally doesn't just send it out like it does on a blockchain. They hold it for a minute, put it into a group of transactions and send out just because it's cheaper on their end to do that or however it works. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. It may not be. Uh, so anyways, now that we've sent that over there, 
you're going to want to go to uh, to back to KuCoin, and we're not going to sit here and wait on to it to arrive. Unfortunately, you you will, but just for the purposes of this video, we already have twenty five dollars worth of uh, Litecoin here. So now that we're here, uh, there's what you have to understand about this. You have a main account. You have a trading account and the main account you can't trade and the trading account you can't withdraw so we're gonna have to use both of these so we're gonna send the money or transfer the money to the trading account to make it so we can trade it so let's tap on Litecoin and then we're gonna to want to hit this transfer button down here from there you can tap this available balance uh, or however much you're trying to send over and hit confirm. with that now you're gonna go back and you're going to click on or tap on trading account and you're going to go to Litecoin or whichever crypto you've picked from here well actually I apologize about that we need to go to the trade screen so go to trade down at the bottom right here and it says theta we're going to trade change this to USDT uh, no we're going to LTC sorry we're trading Litecoin to USDT so that's how you'd search. You hit this, I hit this, and then search. So we want to sell the Litecoin. So we're going to tap on sell, and then we're going to go for a market buy. Where right here you see this, it's a drop down menu, and we're going to do a market. I don't recommend uh, doing market in order. Okay, I don't recommend always doing market. That there can be some instability there, especially if you're using quite a bit of money. Limits the best way to go, but if it's twenty five dollars, it's probably not going to be a huge deal if something happens during the process so you can hit this 25 percent, 50 75 100 or just type in the amount you want we're just going to use the 100 percent option and then we're going to hit sell litecoin now it's going to want my trading password well now you know the two of them let's see there we go all right <clears throat> now that it's been placed successfully we're going to go back uh, to, well, actually, we're not going to go back. We're going to click on this again, the USDT, because we now have USDT. We sold it for it. And you're going to want to search for Matic because we got to get on the Matic network. From here, we're going to do a market purchase again, and we're going to purchase 10 Matic. No, it says we're selling. We have to swap it back to buy. We're going to use 10 here. And Matic should be like $25 or something like that. Now that we've typed it in, you're going to hit buy. And if you look, the orders are done. If you want to see your history orders, they're on the right here. Uh, and then you want to go to order history, which we see right here. We have Matic to SDT and we also have our Litecoin transaction. Now that we've done that, we're going to want to go to our assets. And remember, we can't withdraw the Matic. Um, I think I hit $10. Oh, well, yeah, I hit $10. You're supposed to, I thought it was 10 Matic. But anyways, let's go ahead and click, tap on Matic. And we're going to want to hit this transfer button down here at the bottom. You're going to go from your trading account to your main account. We're going to hit all here. Confirm. Now that's sent over, we're going to want to go back and we're going to go to our main account. Now that you can see we have our Matic over here, you're going to want to hit that and we're going to want to withdraw it. So what you've done, what we've done here is it's a lot of steps. It's a pretty, it, there's just a lot of steps. I don't know how it could be done shorter unless Coinbase would add the Polygon network uh, as a withdrawal option. But in this case, we don't have that. So this is the process we have to do. KuCoin is non-KYC as well for those who find that really important. Um, so from here, we're going to withdraw it. We're going to have to send it to our MetaMask or whichever uh, account you're using for the Polygon network. So we're going to hit a withdraw. Uh, we're not using KCC tokens. So we understand uh, unless you are, then you, that's important to you. Uh, we're going to hit continue. The next thing you're going to want is you're going to need the wallet that you're trying to send it to. So we're gonna have to go back and go to the wallets. Uh, in this case, we're gonna use MetaMask. From here, 
you're going to copy your address. Now we can go back to coin. So you want to paste your address here. And that did say the ETH mainnet, but I do have the Matic uh, mainnet as well, right? Which I did. Uh, I, yeah. So anyways, now that we've done that, we're going to want to go to network and we're going to want to hit click the Matic network. So for the safety of your assets, please make sure uh, that the network is Matic. If the network is wrong and the other platform does not support to recover your assets, uh, they'll be lost. Okay. So if you're, if, if you don't, which for MetaMask, if you have an ETH main, your ETH address and your Matic address, are this, uh, at least they are on mine. And I'm, if you want, you can just go check for yourself. So now that we've done that, it says the withdrawal for Matic chain is currently not available. Please try another chain address. So anyways, let's just go back to show you on ERC 20, it charges you 18 Matic to withdraw. When you go to the Matic network, it's going to charge you one Matic instead of 18. When you're using the Matic network, it's going to be like five cents or something like that. Maybe, maybe less. <clears throat> but anyways, what you would do here is you'll put the address in, you go to networks, you're going to tap on Matic. And uh, let's go back to ERC20, but let's just assume, let's act like you clacked, tapped on Matic. And you're going to want to send it, which we're just going to say max amount. And then you would hit confirm from here, which it should prompt you. Uh, well, it's going to say withdraw address right here, withdraw safe, uh, safety phase. Just make sure you send it to the right one. If you're not sending it to the right one, you're going to lose it. You're going to confirm. Now it's going to request that you put all this information in. Uh, or whatever your security is, I recommend the highest security that you can get uh, just to protect yourself the most. So anyways, that's how you do it. Uh, there's a, it is a long process, um, but unfortunately, as of right now, that's a process that works. And I'm not too sure if you can get it any shorter than that, unless you're already on KuCoin or Gate.io or Crypto.com or something like that. If you're using those, um, you should be able to withdraw on the Polygon network. Uh, so anyways, that's how you use it on mobile uh, if, you're, if you're trying to do that. So appreciate you guys uh, watching this. Thank you all. Uh, if it was helpful, please hit the like button and uh, subscribe and also turn the notifications on. I'll be adding more and more content, uh, mainly around Decentraland, but also around crypto as well because they run hand in hand. Uh, so appreciate you guys. Y'all have a wonderful day and uh, see you guys next time.